hello guys welcome back to the channel so today the team is back in training uh, with uh, uh, international duties again uh, uh, joining the team so uh, uh, yesterday was England's game and Jude Bellingham uh, won a penalty and assisted which is a good thing he is turning out to be a very good signing for us and uh, a Galactico to be fa fair which is a very good news for us so today Lu Luka Modric is back on training on the field and Carvajal is also back on training on the field with the team they trained with the team which is a good news no injuries or anything Kamavinga, Chuameni and Bellingham will be arriving tomorrow Freddy Valverde, Rodrigo, Vinicius and Rud Rudiger uh, tomorrow afternoon but it doesn't look like they are going to make it to the training so they will be back in spain uh, tomorrow tomorrow afternoon but uh, they i don't think they will be making uh, uh, in soon time for the training uh, real madrid are also considering for a right back which is a very good news because carvajal uh, is a uh, good uh, he is having a great season this uh, this year but uh, still we need a young uh, right back for the next season uh, so let's hope we get it and uh, uh, let me tell you about the training this was the training before the Real Madrid training uh, continues to train uh, preparing for Sevilla game Ancelotti's, Ancelotti's side played the match 10 fixture at uh, Sanchez P Pionez the team trained for the third time this week at Real Madrid City as they continue to prepare for the next league, next league game against Sevilla at uh, at the stadium, the session kicked off with warm up exercise and rondon. The player then worked on possessions and uh, pressing, and before playing several small side game, they ended up uh, session with crosses and finishing Ardagula train inside the facility. So yesterday new uh, today morning. And yesterday news came that Ancelotti don't want to risk Arda Guler. He is going to uh, arrange a kind of pre-season uh, for Arda Guler before he is back. So he will be back by the end of November which is a very good news. I didn't want to see Arda Guler soon because he got injured uh, uh, two times in the span of uh, uh, one month. So it's very good from Ancelotti to giving the youngster a pre-season a kind of pre-season so he can recover fully for to his maximum level and continues to train with the team which is a very good news I really wanted to see that and uh, Ancelotti as we say is a very great uh, coach uh, you can understand this by the his uh, decision so Arda Gule will take some time and uh, will continue to recover uh, fully fit for the game and then he will be featuring his debut on November by November ending which is a very good news for us I am very happy and excited to see Arda Guler but at a good time when he is totally recovered and there is no sign of any injury or uh, no sign of any injury to be happening so that's good for us thank you guys do like and subscribe and uh, we uh, <laughs> Our next game is against Sevilla and we know who are we, we going to meet in this uh, fixture. Yes, Sergio Ramos, uh, he will be present in the Sevilla team and he will be starting. So I am very excited to see him against us at the new Bernabeu. Uh, at the Sevilla Stadium, sorry, it won't be at Bernabeu. So thank you guys, do like and uh, subscribe. And uh, uh, I'll keep you, uh, see you next time. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today the team is back in training uh, with uh, uh, international duties again uh, uh, joining the team. So uh, uh, yesterday was England's game and Jude Bellingham uh, won a penalty and assisted which is a good thing. He is turning out to be a very good signing for us and uh, a Galactico to be fa fair which is a very good news for us. So today Lu Luka Modric is back on training on the field and Carvajal is also back on training on the field with the team. They trained with the team 
विच इज अ गुड न्यूज नो इंजरीज और एनी थिंग कामाविंगा चुआ मेनी एंड बेलिंगम विल बी अराइविंग टुमोरो फ्रेडी वालवर दे रॉड्रिगो विनिशियस एंड रूडिगर टुमोरो आफ्टरनून बट इट डजेंट लुक लाइक दे आर गोइंग टू मेक इट टू द ट्रेनिंग सो दे विल बी बैक इन स्पेन टुमोरो टुमोरो आफ्टरनून बट दे आई डोंट थिंक दे विल बी मेकिंग इन सून टाइम फॉर द ट्रेनिंग रियल मेड्रिड आर ऑल्सो कंसिडरिंग फॉर अ राइड बैग विच इज़ अ वेरी गुड न्यूज बिकॉज कारवाहाल इज गुड ही इज हैविंग अ ग्रेट सीजन दिस दिस ईयर बट स्टिल वी नीड अ यंग राइड बैग फॉर द नेक्स्ट सीजन सो लेट्स होप वी गेट इट एंड लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द ट्रेनिंग दिस वॉज द ट्रेनिंग बिफोर द रियल मेड्रिड ट्रेनिंग कंटिन्यूज टू ट्रेन प्रिपेरिंग फॉर सीविया गेम एंचोलिस एंचोलॉटिस साइड प्लेट द मैच टेन फिक्सर एट सांचेस पी पियोनेस द टीम ट्रेन फॉर द थर्ड टाइम दिस वीक एट रियल मेड्रिड सिटी एज दे कंटिन्यू टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द नेक्स्ट ली नेक्स्ट लीग गेम अगेंस्ट सीविया एट एट द स्टेडियम the session kicked off with warm up exercise and rondon the player then worked on possessions and uh, pressing and before playing several small side game they ended up uh, session with crosses and finishing ada gular train inside the facility so yesterday new uh, today morning and yesterday news came that ancelotti don't want to risk ada gular he is going to uh, arrange a kind of pre season uh, for arda guler before his back so he will be back by the end of november which is a very good news i didn't wanted to see arda guler soon because he got injured uh, uh, two times in the span of uh, uh, one month so it's very good from ancelotti to giving the youngster a pre season a kind of pre season so he can recover fully for to his maximum level and continues to train with the team which is a very good news i really wanted to see that and uh, ancelotti as we say is a very great uh, coach uh, you can